Okay, again, as you can see, this is an example here, example here of the virus, which is the Banshee, Banshee top virus of banana. Okay, so that uh, gives dwarfing, no dwarfing, and um, as I said, so dwarfing, no, it will also uh, disorganize, no, nagakaroon ng malnutrition sa pag uh, shoots, pagkakaroon ng blood shoots ng isang uh, leaf blade, no, and this one is also a vectors. So this is a plant hoppers example no uh, vectors uh, vectors that transmitting no one of the major no major insects that transmitting virus or vectors yun na nga okay so as you can see here using the ultra microscope uh, the electron microscope you can see that virus is an what maliit no ultra microscopic no na type na isang diseases okay now, what is a plant virus? A plant virus is a nucleoprotein that has the ability to cause diseases to plant. No, it is a what? Nucleoprotein. Pag sinabi mo nucleoprotein is a nuc, it is a virus that has a uh, nuc uh, nucleic acid and protein. No, composed of nucleic acid and protein coat nakokot siya ng nucleic acid and protein. So, kailangan, pag nadapuan ng virus, no, yung virus, maghanap siya ng nucleic acid and protein. No? Kaya nga, nucleic acid, kasi nga, yung target ng plant virus ay sa cell. No? Yung pinaka-target niya is cell to cell, yung target ng virus. Always remember that all viruses are parasitic in cells. Ano ibig sabihin ng parasitic in cells? Walang ibang tatargetin ang virus kundi cells. Yun. Cells ang kanyang target. Directly target niya is cells kasi because of its compose, compose because it's composed of nucle um, nucleic acid and protein, no? And cause a multitude of disease in all forms of living organisms. So from single cell microorganism to plants and animals. So that is virus, no? It will affect first a single cell and then it will dadami it will multiply single cell to another cell to another sa hanggang dadami siya so that is that is plant virus okay and also virus is more than 2000 species of 2000 species uh, uh there are about 2000 species of viruses we have in the plant no and are known to be that one fourth of 2000 species let's say 500 or oh, 500 more or less 500 of the species uh uh Species of the virus or plant viruses are being already reported and observed that it is infected in the plants. No, it is infected in the plants. So what are those? Okay, what are those na inyong mapapansin? No, what are those examples? We have the mosaic. Okay, the yellowing cur uh, leaf curling. Yon, isa din yun sa pinaka ano, yung curly. No, isa din yun sa pinaka sign or symptoms ng isang um a virus okay nagbo-bloating ako because of the air okay next and we have uh, as what i have said that virus is composed of nucleic acid and protein coat again so this is so what is the size of the microscope uh, the, sorry the, the the virus it is the size uh, size niya is ultra micros Copic, no? Maliit talaga siya, no? Maliit talaga siya. And visualization requires an electron microscope. Ano ang kailangan mong gamitin? You cannot use only compound microscope, no? You all need to use electron microscope in order to see the characteristics of this virus, okay? Next, we have, what is the morphological? Pag sinabi mong morphological, it means it is a... Ano yung makita morphological? It means, ano yung forma niya? Ano yung appearance, physical appearance ng isang virus? No? Filamentous or flexus rods, isometric, geminate, and bacilli form. Okay? So, we have example here in the flexus rod. No? We have mais dwarf mosaic virus. No? As you can see, that is the symptom. No? Mais dwarf mosaic uh, virus. And then, rod shape naman. Uh, tobacco mosaic virus and isometric which is sikat no which is sikat yung isometric no isometric which is cowpea chlorotic motile virus sa pictures na yan alin dyan ang isometric ito po yung isometric 
Okay? Ito po yung isometric example lang. Isometric virus. Okay? So, and in the genome, what is genome? Always remember that each DNA is composed one, a single or double genome. So, the purpose of the genome is to what? Parang encoding din siya of the genetic material. You know what? Virus is sometimes can be no, can be uh, said as parang nagpapanggap. No? Para siyang uh, culprit. Are you familiar with culprit? A culprit is uh, mahilig magpanggap or yun, para siyang magdanakaw, ganun. So, ang ginagawa ngayon ni ang ginagawa ni virus is nagpapanggap siya as DNA, no? Kasi you know that DNA, it is the deoxy ribonucleic acid. No, papanggap siya as nucleic acid, no? Para i-destroy ang DNA at i-destroy yung inyong cells. Yun. Okay? And then, we have the genome, nucleic acid genomes. It's either the RNA or DNA. And then, the variations in genome structures, we have single-stranded, double-stranded, linear or circular, monopartite or multipartite. Okay? So, that is the genome of the virus. So, what is now the capsids, no? Hindi pala ako nagpagin examples dito. Okay, magbigay ako ng examples sa inyo para makita ninyo kung ano yung sample ng capsids. Okay, sandali. Harap tayo dito. Para, mayroon para ma-identify. Ah, yan pala yung capsid, sir. Yes, yun po yung capsid. Tarot. Para hindi kayo matanong, shadow. So ayoko din nahihirapan kayo. Char. Baka ma Ay, mag search muna ako kasi na yung capsid ganun. So iyon, hanapin muna natin na yung capsid. Okay, so here. Okay, can you see it now? So that is an example of capsid. Okay? So as you can see here, capsids have one or more protein coats composed of protein subunits. So alin dyan ang capsids? Sa loob pa talaga. If this is the virus, okay, this is the virus, ha? It is coated by glycoprotein. Oh, it is coated by a glycoprotein and nucleic acid. Okay? So sa loob niyan, meron pa talaga. No, meron pa talaga siyang uh, meron pa talaga siyang tinatawag na another coated na naman. And that is what we call the capsid, no? And then sa loob ng capsid diyan po napatatagpuan si genome or ang DNA or ang RNA. Okay? Always remember that. Diyan po natatagpuan si DNA or RNA, RNA. So that is a capsids, okay? And then, obligate parasite. O, ito yung sinabi ko sa inyo. Always remember that virus is an obligate parasite. The virus cannot be survived without a host. O, ikaw, pwede ka bang uminom ng tubig kung walang host? Pwede bang darating sa inyo ang tubig kung wala ang host? Ganun lang yan. So, that's obligate. That's why the virus is an obligate parasite. No? It cannot be survive for longer without a host, no? Kaya nga, obligate para sa, depend, nagde-depend siya sa host for existence. Kung walang host, wala din existence of virus. Let's say, there's a vectors. May mga vectors na transmit, uh, nagda-transmit ng virus, but there's no host at all on the infected plants. It means that there is no, hindi mag-exist na matagal yung virus because there's no host at all. So what's the sign? No, what? Ano ba yung dapat nagawin namin sir in order to prevent the magkaroon ng host for the for the virus existence? First and foremost, dapat hindi siya. First and foremost, dapat hindi magwund or magkasugat. No, magkasugat isa din yan sa dahilan kaya magkakaroon ng host. And then nagka is number two is that hindi healthy or nagkakaroon ng malnutrition or kakulangan sa pataba ang inyong uh, plant. So, dapat no, healthy ang inyong plant in order to uh, fight against diseases. Okay? So, para ma-prevent din yung host. Okay? One of the uh, one of the supplier of host is also bacteria. 
Okay, bacteria is also one of the hosts for existence ng virus. Always remember that, put that in your mind, that virus cannot survive without a host. Oh, without a host, the virus cannot survive. And that's what they call obligate parasite. Okay, so virus have no systems for the accumulation of metabolic materials, energy generation, protein synthesis, capture of light energy because it is only dependent on the host that's why there's no system for the accumulation of metabolic materials okay and then virus is entirely or obligate parasite entirely dependent on host for nucleic acid and amino acid synthesis kasi nga the reason why ang target ng virus is cell kasi sa cell kasi natatagpuan yung nucleic acid Okay, that is found in the DNA, which is the oxyreproductic acid, which is found in the nucleus of the cell. Now, targeting na yun ngayon, tinatarget ng virus to sip all or to, yun, to sip, sinisip niya yung nucleic acid para dumami siya. Na instead, ang cell ang dumami sa iyo, eh, yung virus tuloy ang dumami sa plants. Okay, because it's sifting, nag, na, nagdedepend lang yung host, I mean, yung virus doon sa host na that can be, that can affect the nucleic acid, uh, that can provide nucleic acid and amino acid. Okay? So we know that amino acid is provided or protein provided by a ribosomes that can be found in the cell. Okay? And then, always remember, as what I have said, that virus affect only cell. That's why it has a cell association. Infect cellular structures and control part of the subcellular system of the host. Act as molecular pirates. Oh, para siyang molecular pirates. Move directly from cell to cell through plasmodesmata. Yun. Sa plants, it is uh, dumadaan siya sa plasmodesmata. Alam niyo yung plasmodesmata? Yung para siyang bridge, no? No? From cell to cell, para siyang bridge. Doon din doon dumadaan yung mga eggs, uh, exist of nutrients. No, hindi na kailangan ng isang cell na pwedeng gagamitin ng isang cell. So doon yun, dumadaan sa plasmodesmata. And dyan din dumadaan si virus sa plasmodesmata in order to infect the other cell. Kaya nga cell to cell ang infection ng uh, virus. That is why it is cell association. Okay? Virus is replication by assembly. Again, Bakit siya replication by assembly? Because the virus cannot, okay? The virus cannot replicate itself. Ayun. The virus cannot replicate itself. Bakit? Nakadepend lang kasi siya sa host. As long as there is a host, that's the time na magkakaroon ng replication. Kaya nga tinawag siyang replication by assembly. Because as long as merong assembly or pagtitipon-tipon, ayan, tagalawin na lang natin, ayan, para mas maintindihan. Pagtitipon-tipon ng mga host, nagkakadyan, nagkakaroon ng replication o pagdami ng mga virus. Ayan, di ba? Ganyan yan. Okay? How do they multiply, sir? Huh? How do they multiply? Okay. How did they multiply? Okay. They will multiply by... Anong process kaya? Anong process? Anong yun? process? Is it mitosis, meiosis? Oh. So... Okay. Kung, kung ang bacteria... Actually, that's a good question. Okay. Kung ang bacteria ay by binary fusion, tama? So, ano nga ba ang virus? Okay, ano nga ba ang kanilang reproduction oh, process? Okay? So, always remember that the virus can only reproduce or replicate pag merong host. Always remember that, ha? Okay, there are two processes used by viruses to replicate. Okay, the number one is that the, lit, uh, li the lytic cycle. Okay? Ano nga ba ang lytic cycle? So let's say, the lytic cycle is the virus attaches to the cell, to the host, sorry. The, the lytic cell, the virus attaches to the host cell and injects its DNA. Yun. The lytic cell is what? The virus attaches to the host cell and then injects its DNA. So, ano pa nagka? Actually, meron dalawang cycle. We have lytic cell and uh, lysogenic cell. Okay? Dali lang. Na mas maganda, meron kasi mas maganda pag meron siyang picture. Okay? 
Excuse me. Okay, papakita ko sa inyo yung picture para mas madali. Okay, that's a good question and thank you very much for that, Jason. Uh, these are the two types of processes na pwedeng gawin ng virus. Number one is the lictic cell, no? Mag, uh, uh, mag, uh, mag, yung virus is, mag-infect niya yung host bacterial cell, which is the bacterial page. What is again bacterial page? Ito yung dapat may vector, di ba? Bacteria, vector, and then virus. Ganon, dapat may vector. Kasi without vector, there's no... Uh, infection na mangyayari. So, na ma-infect yung cell, page on infect of the cell, and then papasok yung page DNA, and then i-inject niya yung DNA doon sa host DNA, and then that's the time na nagkakaroon ng releasing page or pagdami ng viruses. Okay? Or virus. Next, we have lysogenic cells. Okay, yung lysogenic cells, okay, ganun din ang process niya. Okay, so this one is uh, the page infects the cell. Okay, the page infects the cell and then the page DNA becomes incorporated into the host genome. Kung dito, ang nangyayari is the DNA circularizes remaining separate from the host DNA. So nagkakaroon lang parang unting-unting, parang kumakinakagat ba, unting-unting kinukuha yung DNA reactions or replications on the cell. So here in the lysogenetic cell, no, sumasama siya doon sa, or na-incorporate niya yung sarili niya kasama doon sa DNA. Kung baga, siya yung nagparang nagpapadisturb doon sa encoding ng DNA. And until such, no, until such makakabuo siya ng, so andun pa rin yun, no, until such makakabuo siya ng sarili niyang, yan, the cell divides. And propage, kasi alam naman natin, ang cell is nagdi-divide, diba? Diba? Talaga, nagdi-divide dyan by the process of mitosis, diba? So, the cell divides and propage DNA is passed on to the daughter cells. Ayun. So, pag dumami na, tapos meron na naman bago, so, parang na-epektuhan lang, no? Nagkakaroon ng pagpasa-pasa ng viruses. So, kaya infected yung, ano, it's contagious. No? Kasi affected yung iba. Infect sa isa, infected, affected ang virus. Lahat. So that is also a lysogenic, uh, gen lysogenic cycle. Okay, so there are two types of uh, virus processing, ly lytic cycle and lysogenic cells. Kung paano sila dumadami or reproduction nila. Okay? Next, you have any questions? So that is how they replicated. Always remember that the virus cannot be replicated without the host and, and also without the vectors. Okay, so now, let's talk about the vectors. A non-capable of, non-capable of causing an entry wound. You're not capable of causing an entry wound. Depend on vectors to bridge the epidermal layer of the plant. Actually, there are vectors na pumapasok or pwedeng uh, dumadaan talaga sa wound. No, entry wound talaga. Tapos meron din mga ano na mga uh, vectors na naggumagawa sila ng bridge or daanan doon sa epidermal layer ng plant. Kaya nasisira yung ano ng plant. So example of the most and popular vectors ng uh, that is um, carrier or trans, the one that transmitting uh, virus is what we call a uh, nepotetics varicens or the green leaf hopper. Nepotetics varicens or the green leaf hopper. Uh, which is commonly known as the um, common commonly known as one of the trans uh, vectors na uh, insects na nagta transmit talaga siya ng virus. Okay, but there are a lot of orders actually. But this one specifically, this insects is the one that transmitting uh, virus. Example dun is yung tungro virus of rice no it is caused by a uh, it is a vector caused by a virus or vector from the green leaf hopper and then kasi nga ganito yung virus di ba yung vector is the green leaf hopper ngayon nakadikit na si virus dun sa green leaf hopper so habang nandoon si virus sa green leaf hopper ibig sabihin bumubuo na kinokomplete niya na ng cycle 
na ng virus yung cycle niya so that pagbaba noon pag pag pagbaba ng green leaf hopper doon sa rice no sa sa sheet ng sa rice sheet no or sa panicles ba yan so maiiwan yung virus doon ibig sabihin complete na yung cycle ng virus so that's why nagkakaroon na ng infected or infection no nag-iinfect na ng virus yung uh, may kakayahan na mag-infect yung virus doon sa parts ng plants okay vectors also include insects mites nematodes fungi seeds dodders human and animals can be a vectors of virus ayan that's why di ba yung covid kina quarantine or ina isolate para malaman if if hindi ba talaga or affected ba talaga tayo or hindi ng virus kasi pag na-infect tayo ng virus it means that manghihina tayo during the quarantine time isolation day okay sa plants ilang araw ina-isolate sa animals sa pagkakalam ko is 30 days ina-isolate or kina-quarantine yung animals pagkadating agad kina-quarantine yun okay pag sa plants naman it is 7 to 15 days no malaman kung minsan din merong 30 days pag severe Okay, or reportedly, uh, uh, popularly, or commonly reported siya sa Philippines. Okay? Or sikat din, ganon. And then we have these kingdom viruses that you need to, uh, ano, to familiarize. Okay, so we have RNA viruses. So, na yung, ano ko? so we have under rad shape particles or rad shape type. We have tuba virus, which is tobacco mosaic virus, and tuba virus which is tobacco rattle virus, okay? Mo, mosaic, ra, rattle, okay? And filamentous particles naman, we have poti x, uh, pot x virus, potato virus x, and poti virus, um, potato virus y. O, ito na, x, yan, si x mo, yan, virus x, and y, ibig sabihin potato virus y, yan, okay? And isometric particles naman, we have y ka virus, Oh, y ka, y ka virus. Yan. That is a virus in a rice tung ro and spherical virus. So, yung rice tung ro talaga, yung kanyang uh, characteristic ng virus is isometric. Kaya nga matagal siya talagang i, ano, uh, agapan. Yan. And we have como virus uh, for kaupi mosaic virus. Yan. Mo, mosaic, ko, kaupi. Yan. And we have kukumo virus for cucumber mosaic virus. Okay, next we have RNA. Continue tayo. Ang kanyang RNA naman, ribonucleic acid, we have genera nuclu, nuclear habdu virus. Okay, for potato, yellow dwarf virus. For tespo, tespo virus naman, spotted, yan, spotted, spa, yun, spa. To, tomato, yun. Then, uh, tenoy virus for stripe. Yan, rice stripe virus. Okay? And for uh, Fiji, vir Fiji virus, no? For rice Fiji disease virus. And for Oriza virus is the rice rug stunt virus. And another one, that is for RNA ribonucleic acid, no? Affected, a virus affect, infected the RNA or the ribonucleic acid. Now, we have this severe one. Severe, which is the DNA. No, it is the virus infected the DNA, the, the deoxycarbonoclic acid. So we have the Gemini twin particles. We have the Gemini virus or a virus that is known as maistric virus, bet, curly top virus, and bean golden mosaic virus. Okay? Another one, we have single isometric particles in the ban banana bunchy top virus. Ayun. Kaya nga, Yung mga bunchy top virus, mahirap din silang iagapan. Okay? And we have isometric circular DNA. We have cowley, mau, cowley mu virus. From the word is called cowley. Cowley flower mu, meaning mosaic, and then virus. It is like a bacilla form or a rod shape type of virus. And we have genus badna, vir, badna virus or bad, meaning ba, bacilli form or rice tungro bacilli form virus. Sha. Okay, so that is the virus uh, affected RNA and uh, infected RNA and DNA. Now, let's go to the historical developments in plant 
virology. In 1500s, it was um, in Holland, there will be there is a tolipomania. There was an attack of tolipomania, no? At, it is an unusual case of a virus that increased the value of infected tol tulips. Ano yung una? It was infected in the tulips and it's terms as bizarres, okay? Or bizarre, or bizarres yun. Sa time namin, lumabas ito. Okay, lumabas itong tanong tungkol sa ano yung kauna-unahang uh, plants that is infected by a virus that is tolipomania in Holland. Eh, that is tulips, no? And next, in 1886, okay, in 1886, Adolf Mayer is scientifically confirmed a primarily principle to plant virology. When he transmitted TMV, okay, when he transmitted TMV or uh, to healthy tobacco plants by rubbing it, by rubbing with sap from infected plants. Isa din yun sa mga ginagawa ng mga ano, ng mga, oh, dyan, ng mga, yung sa laboratory pag nagtetest sila, isa din yun ang ginagawa, no, yung nirarab nila para malaman kung gaano kakapal ang infected sa kanya. So ano ba yung TMV means? Ibig sabihin ng TMV po ay tabako mosaic virus. Oh, yun. Uh, Adolf Mayer uh, scientifically confirmed a primary si principles to plant virology when he transmitted the tobacco mosaic virus to healthy tobacco plants by rubbing with sap from infected plants. Kung kano ba kakapal na yung infected na plants na yun na, na infected by a virus. Okay? And we have also in 19, 1892 there's also a uh, scientist called Dimitri Ivanusik, Russian, also contributed in the in the study of virology. And we have in 1898, we have M.V. Bejerink is also known as the father of plant virology. M.V. Bejerink, a Dutch, is also known as the father of plant virology. They first indicated the unique nature of viruses and they declared the tobacco mosaic virus as a new type of pathogen called contagium fluidium viveum or contagious living fluid. Okay, kasi pag sabihing contagious, ibig sabihin nakakahawa, nasakit, no? Hindi lang siya sa tobacco but also sa ibang type ng, o sa ibang crops. Okay? In 1935, there is a C.W.M. Stanley, which is work on the tobacco mosaic virus and was the first person to purify a virus. Oh, it is now awarded, no, in-award yun dahil sa kakayahan ni Stanley to purify or paalisin yung virus to as in, uh, mawala talaga totally yung virus sa TMV, ano yung ginawa niya. So, it is awarded as the Nobel Prize in 1946. Okay, it is awarded as Nobel Prize in 1946. Again, what diseases was awarded a Nobel Prize in 1946? It was TMV or the tobacco mosaic virus because of... Excuse me. Sorry. Sorry. Um, sorry. So that is because of Stan Lee. Okay? Yeah. Here's your name, Nida. Sorry. And then, and we have 1936. In 1936, we have Bowden, Bowden and Perry found the presence of the Postporus in virus genome. So, indicated that the suspension of contains nucleic acid. Okay. Okay. 1946, we have the Frankel Conrad was able to isolate RNA or ribonucleic acid from TMV or tobacco mosaic virus and use it to infect healthy tobacco plants yun they use it to infect the healthy tobacco plants no chinek lang muna nila kung gaano ba talaga siya ka immune no and in the philippines we have naman okfemia who is ok okfemia nga kilala niyo ba si okfemia he is First, a dean of Si Okfemia is ang kauna-unahang din ng Alen. Sino naman kaya kilala kay Okfemia?
Hello, walang may kakilala kay Okfemia? Hindi niyo na-encounter si Okfemia? No plum, but po. Halin, siya yung? Excuse me. Ba't ka nag-bloating? Okay. Si Okfemia is yung? Dean. Dean of? Filipino Plant Pathologist. Si Okfemia yung Dean of, kaya na ang Dean ng Plant Pathologist. No? Oh, si Okfemia made numerous studies about abaca banchitap disease. No? Meron din sa banana yan, not just only in the abaca. In 1920s to 1940s. No? Grabe si Okfemia. Yung kanyang dedication. So this is also a banchitap of uh, abaca. And also, we have also bunchy top in banana. Okay? So, this one is the vector, also known as nepotetics very sense. Okay? Or mga hoppers, plant, uh, leaf hoppers. Ayun, pwede din mga leaf hoppers. Kanya, kahit anong kasing leaf hoppers. Okay? And then we have the causal agent. And then, these are the things that you need to uh, familiarize. These are the symptoms of virus infection. Okay? So, we have local lesions, mosaic and mottle, mutel, stripes and streaks, ring spots, distortion, vein clearing, vein banding, stunting or dwarfing, tumors or gas, and inhalation. So you need to familiarize these things so that pagdating sa choices, alam nyo na, marunong na kayo mag-identify kung virus ba siya or fungi. Okay? So this is the sample of the pepper mosaic. No, as you can see, nakakaroon ng um, amorphous shapings at pag tumatagal, nakakaroon na din siya ng curling of the leaf. Okay? Sample of pepper mosaic. Diba? May puti-puti na parang, ano. And then we have this uh, zucchini yellow mosaic. Okay? Sa papaya. And we have also rice tungro. Okay, so this is affected by a rice tungro. Okay, and this one is tomato yellow leaf curl. So pag mayroon to tomato leaf curl, ibig sabihin mayroon siyang, it is affected by a virus. And commonly, mayroon din yan sa mga uh, capsicum. Okay, capsicum family. Tulad ng atsal, sile, yun. Okay. So, there are two types of symptoms in the virus. We have latent symptoms and the mask symptoms. Yung latent symptoms, the host is infected by a virus but does not show any visible symptoms. So, invisibility, no? hindi nagpapakita ng visible symptoms. Okay, yung, it is a symptom list. While the mask symptoms, the host develops symptom upon infection but temporarily becomes symptoms as under certain environment condition. Meaning, this host develops only the symptoms upon infection. So, bago, nag, bago siya na, infecto, na infected by a virus, there's already a host developed in the plant. Kaya na-infect siya or mas lalo siyang na-infected by a virus. Okay? So, bago siya na-infect na ng virus, so nagkaroon muna ng host develops in the plant. So, that is a mask symptoms. So, pag tumatagal, nagkakaroon siya ng symptomless, if nagkakaroon ng um, undetermined uh, temperature or condition. Okay? Now, we have also the virus transmission. No, kanina, pinag-usapan din natin yung mga vectors and also, pag-usapan natin yung virus transmission. We have also the mechanical transmission. It allows transmission of viruses without a vector. Sa anong paraan? Pwede sa weeds, no? Yun. Weeds can be also at reason, nagkakaroon ng virus transmission. Effective for viruses that infect epidermal cells. Pwede din, no? Use of abrasives, uh, example, silica garbide, sun, bentonite, and salite. So these are the uh, minerals that can also be a mechanical transmission of the virus. And we have also potato virus, X, tobacco mosaic virus, and cucumber mosaic virus are common on this mechanical transmission. Okay, so these are the viruses, uh, these are the uh, crops infected by a mechanical transmission. 
And we have insect transmission, as, as what I have said, we have the green leaf hopper that is common and popular as the vector trans or the virus transmi transmission to another plants, okay? So we have five orders no, under the insect transmission. We have order homoptera, order hemeptera, order tysanoptera, order coleoptera, and order orthoptera. Okay, so there are, uh, these are, sorry, these are the five orders of insects that transmitting virus to other plants. Okay, so what are the mode of insect transmission? Non-persistent viruses, persistent in the vector for only a few of two several hours. Hindi siya tumatagal. Okay? So, ang tawag po doon ay stylet born. Ibig sabihin, meron lang siyang specific hours na it will stay in the vectors. Pag um, umabot na siya, pag lumampas siya ng several hours, pwede siyang mawala or mamatay. Okay? We have APID is the most important vector and transmit about 250 known species of plant viruses. No, beside, uh, I mean, aside from green leaf, green leaf hopper, na one of the popular insect na nagtatransmit ng uh, virus. Also, we have the apids. No, apids is the most, no time, no, uh, most important vector na transmit about 250 known species of plant viruses. Okay, pag walang aphids sa choices, you answer leaf hopper or green leaf hopper. Pero pag walang leaf hopper, you answer aphid. Pag may green leaf hopper at saka aphid, you answer aphids. Okay? Because aphids is the most important vector among other insects. Okay? And we have semi-persistent viruses. We have persists in the vector for about one to two, uh, one to four days. No, pag Ito yung mga type ng mga insects na managdadala ng mga vectors. Pag hindi siya na-infect yung isang plants, kung saan yung target plants niya, 1 to 2, 4 to 4 days nawawala or namamatay na yung vectors na yun. Kasi kailangan niya ng host in order to survive. We have also circulative or persistent viruses accumulate internally but not multiply. Ano yung nag-accumulate inter uh, internally? Meron kasing mga insects na, um, ito dun, yung sineswalo nila, yung vectors and then um that can ano it, it will not multiply but it can uh survive sa loob yon sa loob ng uh, vector and we have also circulative or para uh, propagative viruses it multiply in their vectors so meron din uh vectors na nagmo-multiply on their uh, on their own while still in the uh while still in the insects yon meron ganyan okay na type ng vectors. Okay, di ba sabi ko sa inyo, while the vector, uh, while the, the the virus is still in the vectors, no, nag, nagkakaroon na ng stages ng pag-complete or pag-maturity. When, when it's already completed, it will infect or affect the virus, I mean the plants. Okay? Now we have the nematode transmission. No? Also, tra transmit about 20 viruses. It can be also transmit uh, 20 viruses. And these are the popular, a uh, popular transmission, a uh, thematic transmission. We have Longidorus, para Longidorus, and Sepinema transmit polyhedral shape of viruses. Well, actually, di naman siya tumatagal. Such as grape, fan leaf, and tobacco ring spot. Yon. Yon ang kanyang symptoms, no? Uh, grape, fan leaf, and tobacco ring spot. And we have also Trichodorus and para Trichodorus, a uh, transmit rad shape viruses such as tobacco rattle and tea early browning, okay? This one will not come out sa board exam. Sure ako dyan. And then mice transmission, also with this one. Mice transmission, mice species belong family, are you for your day? And then transmit about six viruses. Siguro pag tanongin sa inyo, which of the following transmit about 20 viruses? So may mga question, mga choices na doon. Nematodes, mites, insects, or bacteria. So ang sagot doon ay nematodes. So, you have already the idea. Okay. Fungal and fungal like transmission. Okay, fungi can also be a transmitter a transmission, no? Transmit or vectors. Transmit about 15 species of plant viruses. Okay? And do their transmission also. And we have other modes of transmission, seed, pollen, and vegetative propagation and grafting. Yun, grafting. Kaya nga, di ba tinatakpan natin ng uh, transparent plastic in order kasi pag grafted, pag grafting kasi nagkaroon meron yung wounded 
may wounded part yun doon sa tinatawag nating inter uh, internal grafting yung sa internal isa din sa mga raw materials na kailangan no to ano to graft okay so kailangan lagyan natin ng transparent plastic in order to para hindi siya maapektuhan okay so we have also detection and identification we have biological activity ang detection but it identify as use of indicator plants we have also physical properties ang anyang identification is through electron microscopy okay nucleic acid analysis it is through polymerase chain reaction okay so nagkakaroon ng polymerase chain reactions in the dna in the deoxyribonucleic acid okay and we have the protein analysis through serological techniques kukuha ka ng sample and then yun okay and we have this elisa okay i want you to screenshot or to put this in your note because this will come out sa board exam tatanungin kayo kung ano ibig sabihin ng elisa okay so you need to put this one what is the meaning of elisa and i will include this one in your posters okay so we have ELISA enzyme link immunosorbent assay. Ano yung ibig sabihin niyan? Yun tinetest nila kung how the immune system or how the immunity of this plant no survive uh being infected by a virus. Yun. So that is the work of ELISA. Actually meron din yan sa animal science, pinag-usapan din natin yan. Okay? And we have rapid test kits. Yun, immuno strips yan. So I don't know how to use it, pero that is a rapid test kits. Okay? Kasi hindi pa ako naka-experience niyan. Pero yung ilisa, nakatest, nakatry na ako. And we have, how are viruses controlled? O, paano ba sila kinokontrol? Pinapatay ba agad? Nagocultural methods pa agad? O, yan. As an agriculturist, di ba sabi ko sa inyo, I always promoting organic farming or organic recommendation. Pero, pag virus na, huwag na magpa-organic for organic. No, directly in organic. Kasi pag virus ang pinag-usapan, mahirap na. Kasi it's rapidly, no, madali siyang dumami. Okay? So, pag nalaman mo na there is already a host plant resistance, dapat kinokontrol mo na siya agad. Ko, mag-control ka ng gagamitin. Okay? Uh, next is control of vectors. O, oh, yung mga vectors, possible na mga vectors. Tanggalin yung mga weeds, tanggalin yung mga ano. So, and we have quarantine and eradication. Later on, pag-uusapan natin yung pinakaiba ng quarantine at eradication. And then, cultural methods. Okay, let's start with the host plant resistance. Anong ginagawa? Develop plant cultivars with viral resistance through traditional breeding. No, pwede pa. Pag ganyan, pag nalaman mo na mayroong host plant resistance, kagawa ka ng traditional breeding. No, cross protection increases resistance of host plant by introducing the mild strain of the virus. Next, genetic engineering to enhance host plant resistance using genes coding for code proteins, replicates, antisense, RNA, and ribosomes. Ibig sabihin yan, you get a sample of that host plant resistance and then you are going to make what? A plant host, resi a host plant resistance, resistance from the infected, baka pwedeng infect, pwede ma-infect ng virus, at least the plant is already immune to that. Okay, so you need to be mapagmasid. Ganun. Study more about host plant resistance. Okay, so another one is to control the vector. Apply measures to control vectors. What are those? Insecticides, pesticides, buisicides. Pwede din yun. Okay, those are the control of vectors. Okay, and we have Quarantine and eradication ng pinagkaiba. Ito talagang nag, ano talaga kami nag-debate. Okay, pag quarantine and eradication, nung time namin, part namin tayo, ano yung pinagkaiba ng quarantine and eradication? Pag quarantine, ito yung first line or first gate of defense against the introduction of many foreign viruses. That is why nga kumukuha tayo ng permit from the quarantine bago natin ship or i-travel ang isang hayop or isang plants. Kasi nga para malaman, if ito ay infected by a virus or not. If, this is, if it is 
infected by a virus, so the only thing that we need is to quarantine them. Pagdating doon sa kanilang destination, it will be quarantined for 7, 7 15, or 30 days. No, Pag malapag nalaman na healthy, it means pag sa loob ng 30 days walang na, nangyari, it means that the plants or the object is being, uh, is, is healthy. So, is healthy. So, pag nanghina or may nangyari, may side effects, meaning hindi siya healthy. Okay? So, meaning it is affected by a virus. So, that's what we call quarantine. Siya yung talaga kauna-unahan, the first line or the gate, the first gate of defense. And then, followed by eradication. Nagkakaroon lang eradication pag once ang isang bagay ay na Affected by a virus. So, eradication yung gagawin natin. Anong ginagawa natin? Done when exclusion of viruses fails. Example, ASF, African Swine Fever. Anong ginagawa in eradication? No? Kahit buhay pa, ang baboy, pina, uh, uh, tinatapon nila sa isang bangin, tapos sinusunog nila. Pag nasunog na, no? pag naging ash na siya, Ang ginagawa nila ay tinatakpan nila nila natakpan na nila ng ano ng ng uh, dupa. 'Yon. So that's how you are going to eradicate virus. Okay? And we have cultural control. After eradication, you are now going to cultural control. No can be referred to as a wise production practice. Ano yung wise production practices? You need to clean, you need to disinfect, you need to uh decontaminate your area. Before producing another one. Oh, yan. That is a cultural control. Okay? Oh. Bago mo na magpadala, kailangan i-disinfect mo na ang area. Para wala na talagang ASF sa kapagpasok. Okay? So you need to secure your area as clean as you can. Okay? Bago magpapasok ng iba. Okay, did you get now the point in the about virus or virology? Naintindihan ba? If naintindihan, kindly raise your hand. Ayan, nag-water break mula si Song Sing Nim. Ara, continue na tayo mag-discuss. Okay, let's proceed now to plant viroids. So we are done with the virus. So let's proceed now to virus. So bakit ang dali-dali lang talaga ng discussion mo sa virus? Kasi hindi naman kailangan na deep yung, st yung study natin sa virus, right? We only need the, the characteristics and the behavior of this virus and other in the causal agent kasi naman ang malabas sa board exam okay and then now let's proceed to plant viroids okay small maliit siya low molecular weight rna that can infect plant cells replicate themselves and cause diseases so etong plant virus can replicate themselves yun and it is affected the cell of course the cell uh, specifically rna okay unlike virus both uh, virus, RNA, and DNA. So, differ from viruses in at least two main characteristics, no? Pwede yung dalawang characteristics, no? Pag size of RNA, magkaiba ang virus and virus. virus. So, we have viroid, which is 250 to 370 bases ang kanyang infected, infection. So, maliit lang. I-contra natin sa virus, which is mabigat, 40 to 20 kilo bases ang kanyang infection. Ang viroid, hinay-hinay, bago siya dadami. Yun. Kaya nga, Ang viroid minsan, hindi mo malalaman, ay, yung plants mo, it's already been affected by a viroid. Yun. Kasi nga, hindi masyadong mabigat. Okay? And then, virus RNA is enclosed with a protein coat. Yan. Enclosed with a protein coat while viroid lacks this structure. Ibig sabihin, ang virus ay merong protein coat at saka nucleic acid. Tama. ba? Ang viroid, wala siyang protein coat. Okay? Wala siyang protein code. So, what are the example of the diseases na causal agent ng viroids? We have kadang-kadang disease of coconut, potato spindle tuber, citrus exocortis, avocado sunblotch, and apple scar skin. Ito yung mga popular at sikat na mga diseases na causal agent ng viroids. Okay? 
So, uh, kadang-kadang disease, example with the kadang-kadang disease means dying. Kadang-kadang means dying. It is first recognized in 1930s and similar disease called tengaja. Okay? It is similar disease with cause tengaja in Guam. Mahalas magkahawig or relevant sila. Okay? And then, the pathogen infects coconut and other palm species in the Philippines. So, ini-infect nila yung palm or yung uh, palwa. Yun. Uh, palwa or yung leaf. No? Leaves. And then, the seed transmission of this is 0.3%. And it consists 246 nucleotides and making this the smallest viroid known disease. Uh, develop slowly over 8 to 15 years. No, Nag-develop yung disease over 8 to 15 years. So, di pa alam yung coconut mo, bata pa lang, meron na pala siyang viroids. Ayun. So, the first symptoms, no, para malaman mo, it's already affected by a kadang-kadang disease, ang coconut, fruits become rounded. Ayun. And develop by scarifications. Nagkakaroon ng scarifications, then leaves show bright yellow spots. Nagkakaroon ng bright yellow spots and then tumatagal ay nagkakaroon siya ng brown and then dead cells na. Okay? Then 3 to 4 years later, ang inflorescence are killed. No, yan. Inflorescence mismo ng palm ay, nag, na ay namamatay. No? Only new fronds are developed. And then 5 to 7 years later, actually this is the breakdown of ano ha? of how this kadang-kadang affect your coconut. In 5 to 7 years later, severe lip spots will be noted. So yun, makikita mo na may mga lip spots, lip spots na, no? And then size of fronds in the crown continue to reduce. So ano nangyari? No? Yung crown mismo, yung, yung sa gitna mismo ng coconut na no, nagkakaroon na ng reduction on the shoots of the palm. Okay? And nagda-dwarfing na, nagkakaroon ng abnormality sa palm, no? Finally, growing buds die, eto na, full of na nahuhulog, leaves and the palm trunk standing like telephone post. Now, what are you going to do in eradicating kadang-kadang disease? You need to kill. You need to patayin ang coconut. Kailangan yung, ang ginagawa nila dati, sinunog nila. Pag sin after nila sinunog ay pinutol nila ang coconut tree. Ayun, pinutol nila ang coconut tree. So what are you going to do? Putulin lahat muna ng coconut tree and after 3 years, saka ka pa pwedeng magplant ng another coconut. Okay? So this is how you're going to control plant viroids. Use of viroid-free planting materials and then eradication of infected plants. So sabi ko sa inyo, you need to eradicate it. No, eradicate derecho. Wala lang quarantine-quarantine yan. Eradicate na yan. Kasi pag viroids, grabe ang infection yan. Okay? Next, we have plant parasitic nematodes. So we are done with the viroids. Did you understand the viroids? Naintindihan ba ang viroids? Sir, smaller than ano ba yan? Virus? Yes. Smaller than virus. Okay? Very good, kasi naintindihan. So, let's proceed to plant parasitic nematodes or nematology. Nematodes derived from Greek words nema, toads meaning thread-like. O, oh, para siyang thread-like and edos resembling or likeness. Okay, mas maganda pag meron tayong example ng picture niyan. Para hindi din tayo ano. Okay. Dali, hanap ako ng plant nematode. Affected by it. Ayan. Okay, saan na tayo? Nema, nema, nematode, nematode, nematode. Are in your plates? Eileen, plates? 
Dito sa kitchen. Ah, ako na lang, wala tanda lang ko ninyo. Okay. So now, let's see. Example. This is example of nematodes. Okay? This is an example of nematodes. Okay? It is composed of stylets. Ayan. So that is nematodes. Okay? Para hindi ka ignorante, ha? And then we have small, maliit siya, 300 to 1,000 micrometers. Ang kanyang kahaba. With some species up to 4 millimeter long. Ah, sorry, sorry. 4 millimeter long pala siya and 15 to 35 micrometers wide. Yan. Generally, a nematodes is an ill shape. Diba? Kita nyo nga, it's an ill shape. Ayan. No? Or vermiform and round in cross section with smooth unsegmented bodies without legs or other appendages. So, walang legs ang kanila ang nematodes. Anong ginagawa ng nematodes? Using their muscles in order to move. Muscles ang ginagamit. Okay? The nematodes may either be Sapropagus, predecious, or plant parasitic. Ah, pwede siya maging plant parasitic, pwede siya maging predator, and pwede din siya maging sapro. Okay? And then we have 10% of the 30% uh, 30,000 described species or 300 siguro ang 30%. Okay? Species are known as plant parasites. Parasitic sa plants yung nematodes. Plant parasitic species are mostly obligate and equipped with stylet. Oh, tignan natin ha. Oh, wala siya nito. Example, uh, this one eh. So this is the stylet. As you can see, that's the stylet. It consists of stylet. Kasi yung, yung type of nematode na may stylet, kasi sila kasi yung nagsisak. Yun. Parang na inject nila yung stylet nila. Parang siyang, para siyang syringe. It's a needle-like. Ganon. Okay, now let's talk about the morphology. Morphology, the cross-section of a nematode body looks like a tube within a tube. So that is the physical appearance of the nematodes. Tubes, here, tube here, and then tube here. Tube, yan, tube within a tube. A tube sa labas, tube din sa loob, ganon. Other tube, we have all outer tube, we have this cuticle. Alam niyo naman siguro yung cuticle, yung outermost covering ng uh, nematode. Kasi nga yung nematode nagsha-shed off din siya, nagmo-molting. Shed off during molting yung uh, nematodes. Nag-change din yung kanyang skin. That is because there is a, a production of keratin and collagen. Ayun, nag, ano din siya, para din siyang snake, nagsha-shed off. And then, nagmo-molting, sorry. And then, uh, epidermis, the thin layer, we know that the thin layer with functions mainly for secretion of new cuticle during molting. No? Pag nagkaroon ng molting, the epidermis will secretes cuticle, new cuticle, ayun, for the new skin of the nematodes. And muscles allow the movement by alternate contractions and relaxation of dorsal and ventral muscles of the nematodes. Since the nematodes doesn't have any legs, so, muscles is the one they use in allowing movements. Okay? Now, the inner tube begins from the mouth opening to the anus that is a female. That's how you're going to identify uh, nematodes, no? Mouth opening to the anus that is a female. Or cloaca, the common opening of digestive and reproductive systems for male. Anus for female, cloaca for male. Okay? Possess stylet that they use in puncturing plant cells. Ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo. Pag ang nematodes is, is ano, meron siyang stylet. Pag ang nematodes merong stylet, it means that it is harmful to plants because it's puncturing the plant cells, and withdrawing their contents. Doon na, winiwithdraw nila yung contents nila. So, there are three types of stylets. First, we have the stomata stylet. Yan, hanapin natin dito, kung ano saan example ng stomata stylet. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Dali lang ha. Saan yung target ng type ng stylets na yan? Ang target niya ay sa stomata. Okay? It is a stomata stylets. Okay, this one here. And then, ang kanyang... Hanap natin ha. Okay, Okay, ganito na lang. Let me explain it to you. Yung type ng stomata stylets, ito yung mga, yung kanilang bunga nga is like a stomata, like it's plain. Uh, mas maganda kasi pag naano siya eh. Hindi kasi siya maano. Dali ha, mag insert lang ako na picture. Okay, and the other one is we have Odonto Stylet. Okay, Odonto Stylet. Tanapin natin yung Odonto Stylet. And the other one is Odonto Oncho Stylet. Oncho Stylet. Napin natin ha para meron tayong sample. Okay. Okay, so let's see here. Example. So this one, we have this tomato stylet. Okay, we have, oh, yan. Okay, so this is the stomata stylet, as you can see. Okay, as you can see here, this, yeah, stomata here, and then this is the stylet here. Okay, diba? This is the stylet, it's a needle-like. This one, the stylet. Okay, that is the stylet cone. Yan, stomata, ganyan. Usually affected yan, uh, in-infect ng ano yan, is stomata part. Okay, and we have also the ocho style. Under order triplonchida. So, ito yung otro on, o oncho style ng uh, stylet niya. Here is, okay. So, here is the needle. Okay. Mm, so, you can see here parang itlog. Pagdating dito, itlog, di ba? So, ito dito. Stylet, then diretso sa isopagus. Yan. This one here, this is what they call odonto stylet. Okay, ito yung may, yan, still sa mata. Adonto stylet, ganyan, ang forma niya, stylet. Tapos meron siyang spear na pag ganito. Yan. 
Sometimes, ano yung sabi niya? Odonto, parang meron siyang maliit na, ano, parang maliit na, tawag dyan, maliit na teeth. Yun, parang maliit na teeth. Pero that's not necessarily teeth. Kaya nga tinawag siyang odonto, from the word itself, odonto, parang may maliit na, yan, teeth. Yun. So that is a odonto style. Okay? Next is, yan yung three types. Pero di naman lumalabas sa exam yan. At least you have idea. Okay, and these are the life cycle of nematodes. Okay, we have the eggs, the larvae, which is the larvae or the juvenile stage has four stages. Ang pagkaalam ko lang, ang second stages, that is the stages of the root knot nematodes. Okay, the root knot nematodes is under the second juvenile stages. Okay, and then followed by adults, no? And we have eggs, larvae, larvae has four stages, and we have also the adult. Always remember that the nematode cycle is completed within three to four weeks only. No? Makomplete na yan nila. Okay? Makomplete na siya, maging adult na siya. Okay? So what are the terms related to nematode reproduction? So this one, apimectic. Alam niyo naman siguro, ipiksin ng apimectic. No? Nematode species which requires the presence of both female and male for reproduction to occur. So, kailangan may presence ng male at saka female para mag-reproduce. We have partenogenic, parang the word din is partenocarpy, no? Nagkaroon lang ng nematodes reproduce from eggs without fertilization by sperm cells. No, walang fertilization happening. Okay, we have hermaprodetic, no? Possessing both functional male and female reproductive organs. Ibig sabihin sa isang Nematode, meron siyang functional na male and female reproductive organs. Hindi niya na kailangan ng male or female. Kasi meron naman siya, it can, it can be uh, fertile its own. It can be produce its own eggs. It can be fertile its own. That is hermaprodetic type of nematodes. And we have sexual dimorphism phenomenon wherein the male and female nematodes of the same species have entirely different morphology. Ibig sabihin, magkaiba ang forma ng nematodes na may male a male nematodes, magkaiba din ang forma ng female nematodes. That is a dimorphism. And sex reversal naman is a phenomenon observed in the juveniles of partenogenic species of miloy, dojin, during unfavorable conditions. No? What juvenile stage yan? Second juvenile stage. Okay? Second juvenile stage which is the root knot stage. Kaya nagkakaroon ng partenogenic species of miloy, dojin. Okay, that is a cause of the nematodes during unfavorable conditions. So depending on the onset of the unfavorable conditions, so the gonad of this tend to be, yun na yung this tend to be, yung root knot, female, juvenile develops into non-functional testes. Kaya nga, in the second stage, nagkakaroon ng non-functional testes. Okay? So these are the groups of nematodes that you need to know based on the feeding position. Actually, meron yan tinatawag na migratory ectoparasites. Sedentary ectoparasites. Di ba? Meron ganyan, pinagsama-sama. Okay? Now, I will going to discuss it to you more for a furthermore. Okay? Pag sinabi mong ecto, ano ibig sabihin ng ecto? Outside. It is feeding outside the plant cells. Only the stylet enters the plant cells. Ibig sabihin, yung kanyang katawan ay nasa labas ng plant but the stylet is getting into the plant cells. So what are those examples of uh, groups of nematodes? We have Belonolimus, Paratylinchus, Trichodorus, Sepenoema, Longedorus. So these are the causal agent. Sting nematode, uh, sorry, these are the, the stylet. Sorry, stylet pala yan. Uh, pin nematode, uh, stabi, uh, root nematode, dagger nematode, needle nematode. Okay, so pag-aralan nyo yan, familiarize nyo yan kasi sasama ko yan sa postos ninyo. Okay? Next, you have semi-endoparasites. Ano yung semi-endo? Pag sinabi mong semi-endoparasites, pag endo, ibig sabihin sa loob. Pumapasok na talaga sa loob ang nematodes. No, usually sa roots, ito nangyayari. Okay? Feed by bur bur burying the front part of the body. Oh, yung front part ng katawan niya ay nasa loob na no, of the body into the host cells while the posterior portion is outside. Ibig sabihin, pag ito yung roots, no, ang part, ito ang, 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 ang worm, yung half ng kanya katawan ay nasa loob na, yung half ay nasa labas pa. 
So that is semi-endoparasites. And these are the sample of nematodes, pratilinchus, lesion nematode, radopolus, yan, burrowing nematode. Okay, and then also hoplolimus, okay, lance nematode, helicotylinchus, spiral nematode, detylinchus, stem and bulb nematode, apilentoids, uh, choides, foliar nematode. Oh, ito naman yung tinatawag nating endoparasites. Ibig sabihin, ang buong katawan niya ay nasa loob na ng host. Okay? The entire nematode's body enters the plant cells while it feeds. Ito na talaga yung natawag natin na pinaka. Yun. Melodoidogen, uh, root knot nematode, Um, heterodora cis nematode. Yung kadalasan na makikita ninyo na uh, makita ninyo sa corn, corn stand, no? Corn stand, yun po ay endoparasites. Nakita ninyo na sa loob na talaga yung nematode. Nasa loob siya, pagbuksan ninyo ang stem, nasa loob ang, ang nematode. That's what we call endoparasite. Ibig sabihin, ang buong katawan ay nasa loob na ng host or plant. Now, let's proceed to the base on movement while feeding. They are also migratory, no? Migratory nematode. Example, migratory ectoparasite, migratory endoparasite, no? Meron din yan, okay? So, migratory meaning move from one part of the plant to another portion of the host or move from plant to the soil and back. Ano ibig sabihin yan? Pagkatapos niyang, mag, magkatapos niya infect dito, pupunta naman siya sa kabila. And that is what we call migratory, No? So, pag sinabi natin migratory infect uh, ectoparasites, ibig sabihin, yung stylet, yung stylet ng nematode lang ang ipapasok sa loob. That is, uh, that is ectoparasite, right? So, ngayon, pag nakasip na siya, naka-infect na siya, pupunta siya sa kabilang plants para mag-inject. Mag mag so, that is what we call migratory. Okay? So, these are the types of nematodes. Okay? And we have also sedentary, sedentary, Uh, sedentary, attach themselves the roots or burrow into the root. Example, meron, ito yung tinatawag natin migratory ectoparasite, right? Ano naman sir yung migratory endoparasite? Ganito yon. Ibig sabihin, yung buong katawan ng nematodes ay nasa loob ng host. Kinakain na niya. And then after that, pag namatay na yun, no, or hindi pa siya namatay, pag nasatisfy na siya, lalabas siya, pupunta na naman siya sa ibang plants, doon na naman siya pakain, doon na naman siya kakain, tataba na naman siya doon. That is what they call migratory. Okay? Migratory endoparasites. Okay? Pag sinabi naman nating sedentary, attach themselves to the roots or burrow into the roots. Nakadepende yan. If pag sinabi attach themselves to the roots or burrow into the roots, no mananatili sa loob. That is sedentary. Example. Okay, this is the roots. This is the host. Okay. Na pag sinabi mo namang, pag sinabi mo namang um, um, sedentary ectoparasite, ibig sabihin sa labas yung ecto, right? Pag sinabi ectoparasedentary, ectoparasite, ibig sabihin, ang self niya ay naka-attach lang siya sa roots. Ibig sabihin, nasa surface lang siya ng roots. Doon lang siya naka-attach talaga si nematodes. Ang kanyang ang pumapasok lang for feeding niya is yung stylet lang. Yan. Ibig sabihin, nakadikit lang siya doon mismo sa roots, sa surface ng roots. And that's what we call sedentary ectoparasite. Okay? Kasi nasa labas. Pag sinabi mo naman ang sedentary, uh, sedentary endoparasites, meaning yung nematode ay nag-barrow. Oh, that's the word barrow here. Barrow into the root. Meaning yung nematode nasa loob na talaga siya or naninirahan na talaga siya sa roots hanggang mamatay ang roots. And that is sedentary endoparasites. Did you get the, did you get the point now? If you get the point, sige nga, pa-heart nga tayo dyan, pa-heart reaction nga. I want to see it. If you... Um, understand. Oh, minix ko lang yun ha. Endoparasite, ectoparasite, minix ko lang. Migratory endoparasite, migratory ectoparasite, sedentary endoparasite, sedentary ectoparasites. Okay? Did you get now the point? Ibig sabihin may apat. Oh, infected, apat. 
Did you get now? Very good. Kasi very good, very good. Okay, now, let's continue. Sing, uh, si Son Seng Nem, I'm sobrang masaya because you are all understanding my discussion. Okay, now, let's proceed to the symptoms of nematode infection. So, these are the symptoms that you need to familiarize, such as dulls, wilting, necrotic lesions, lip spots, stunting, lift distortion, lift discoloration, excessive root, branching. So these are the symptoms that you need to familiarize in the nematode infection. So pag meron yung itong question sa board examination, may multiple choices, at least alam nyo na this is infected by a nematodes. O diba? Nung nakaraan, yesterday, pinamemorize ko din sa inyo yung, pinafamiliarize ko sa inyo yung genera of pathogenesis of bacteria. But those are symptoms also or causal agent. And then, pinamemorize ko din sa inyo yung fungi, symptoms of fungi. Uh, familiarize din din sa inyo. And then, kanina, yung sa virus. And then, sa viroids. Ngayon naman ay symptoms ng nematode. O oh, yan. At least, meron na kayong idea. Hindi na tayo mahirapan sa board examination. Ayan. So, these are example. This is what they call the root knot symptom. No? Ang 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 tabaw. Ito ay example ng um ito ay example ng tinatawag nating sedentary endoparasite. No? Ito ang sinatawag nating sedentary endoparasite. Ibig sabihin sa loob na siya naninirahan. Sa loob na siya kumakain. No, ang buong katawan niya sa loob na. So ang lang at also yung nakita niyo sa labas yung mga roots, di ba? Yung yung tinatawag nating mga root hair nawawala din. It is because of the because of ectoparasites that is because of the ectoparasites no uh, sedentary ectoparasites no dahil yan sa mga sedentary ectoparasites kaya sa surface na kasi siya kinakain kinakain niya din kasama yung mga root hairs okay so these are the important nematode diseases in the plant so hindi ko na babasahin ha i want you to to to, to ano to screenshot this one because 100% ay lalabas ito sa post test ninyo this coming Saturday. Okay? You will be having 100 items post-test all about causal agent. Ano ibig sabihin ng causal agent? Yun ay mga scientific names. Yun. Causal, yung mga ganito, yung makikita ninyo by Saturday. Causal agent ng bacteria, molecules, fungi, virus, viroids, and nematodes. O, oh, screenshot nyo na. Or is oh, screenshot na. Okay. Next, what are the sampling techniques? No, the reasons of, for sampling, the nematodes are too small to be seen with bare eyes. Oh, mahirap talaga makita yung mga nematodes na ano, uh, parasitic. Pero ibang nematodes, tulad ng worm, makikita naman using our naked eye. Symptoms cause are not typical. Yes, totoo yan. It's not typical kasi nga late ang reaction ng symptoms. Okay. And then, need for quantitative estimation of density. Kailangan ng quantitative. Oh, ilan yung mga na-infect ng ganitong symptoms, ganun. ilan yung symptoms na may ganito, saka mo malalaman that it's infected by, uh, by nematodes. That's a reason of for sampling and getting nematodes sampling. Okay? What are the sampling theories? We have special, spatial, spatial distribution. Nematode distribution within the field is generally patchy owing to their small size and slow rate of active movement. Yun. Ano ibig sabihin? Generally, patchy owing. Ano ibig sabihin ng patchy owing? No? To their small size. Ibig sabihin, dito meron, dito meron. Ganyan. Patchy-patchy ba? Patch-patch lang siya. Ganyan. O, oh, kalat-kalayan. Patchy-patchy, maliit-liit lang siya. And slowly rate of active movement. Inahinay din, dumadami sila. Ganon. Pag sinabi mo namang vertical distribution, refers to the dispersal of nematodes in a soil profile. O, oh, saan nakikita ang soil profile? Sa soil horizon. Yun. Mainly influenced by density of feeder roots. Yun. Nagkaya nagkaroon ng root knot, which is higher in the upper Yan, upper 3 cm of the soil. Yun, upper 3 cm of the soil. Okay? That is 30 cm of soil. Sandali lang, ayusin ko lang. 
Sir, meron ano yan? Uh, uh, ano? Meron kong power point dito. Uh, 30 nga, tama. It's 30 centimeter for a uh, centimeter of the soil. Ano yun? Tanong mo? Meron kong power point dito. Oh, tapos na. Sinabi ko na nila yung entry ko. Sabi ko, na-download ko na yan sa G-Drive nyo. Upload ko na pala. Okay? Thank you. Next, we have number three. Okay lang. Number three, temporal or seasonal distribution. Influenced by climatic pattern. Oh, influenced by climatic. It's either wet. Di ba pag basa, dumadami ang nematodes? No, pag wet, no, pag dry, konti-konti lang. Ganun. Pero pag wet, madami talaga. Okay? And host availability. The nematode density is highest during near harvest stage of crop. Oh, nalabas ito ha? Sa postas ninyo? That nematode is highest in the near harvest stage of crops. Yun. And extraction techniques. Motility depend or active nematodes. We have Berman funnel. It can also be used by Berman funnel. Lumabas ito sa board exam. What are the methods used in uh, techniques and destruction uh, and in extractions of nematodes? Number one, the correct answer for that is Berman funnel. Oh, yun na lang yung discuss ko sa inyo. Hindi na ako mag-discuss ng wet, wet saving method kasi hindi naman yan siya gawain talaga na ano. So yun lang, Berman funnel, yan ang pinakamadaling gawin. Kasi nagkakaroon ng incubation method kasi sa Berman funnel. Okay? Uh, siguro, i-discuss ko yan more on the final coaching. Yun. And we have disease complex with nematode. So these are the disease complex. Kailangan nyo itong alamin kasi lalabas ito sa inyong Yo, nematode and viruses, meron yan eh pinagsama-sama. Nematode and bacteria, yung nagtutulungan sila, no? Tutulungan sila para patay ng isang plants or crops. Ayun, screenshot niyo na and you will have your posters on this. Okay? And next is we have the methods of nematode management. First is prevention. Oh, quarantine at farm, country international level. So magkakaroon muna ng prevention. Prevention is quarantine. Okay? Next is crop rotation. Oh, it's very important. Alternating susceptible host with non-host crop. That's very important. That's why after planting rice, meron na namang ibang dapat. Hintay muna ng ilang araw, o ilang buwan, no, bago ka magkaroon, o bago ka magtanim ulit. Okay? Kailangan kasi matanggal yung mga uh, susceptible host doon. Trap crops. Ano yung trap crops? Ibig sabihin, after mo ma-harvest yung isa, pwede ka magplant ng ibang crops na trapping, no? Na pwedeng ikamatay ng nematodes or ikahilo ng nematodes. That is a trap crops. Example, we have Crotolaria. Yun. And we have antagonistic crops, no? Exude chemicals that are either repellent or nematicidal. Or you can use also nematocides. Yan, nematocides. Yun. Okay? And we have land management and cultural practices, early planting. That's very important. Flowy, plowing, flooding, organic soil amendment. Physical methods, steaming, solarization, field burning. Yun, field burning. And then, heat treatment of planting materials. Pwede din. Yun. And then, resistant. Dapat pag magtanim kayo, resistant or tolerant varieties uh, against nematodes. Yun. And then, biological control. Example, the bioac or the bioactive. Yun. And then we can use fumigants. Yun. Meka chemical control, we can use methyl bromide. Ito yung mga ano lang, mga lower lang. Ha? Mga lower lang. Hindi masyadong uh, nakaka-infect talaga. Uh, nakaka ano, sa biodiversity natin. Okay? So these are the management that you uh, need in the culture, in the practices of the nematodes. Okay? Hopefully you learn a lot tonight. So that is all about nematology. Okay, so did you learn? Did you learn, guys? Marami ba kayo tutunan tonight? Is it wasting your time or it is worth worth listening for? Charot. Okay, very good. Talagang napakita talaga si Jay, sabi niyo. <laughs> okay, actually you can unmute your microphone if you want to talk to me. Ayun, so thank you very much everyone. Kamsamida, no? Kamsamida to everyone because you are all participating and you are still